That's not good. This is a bit online, or offline rather. Uh, this part wasn't actually streamed for anyone watching after the fact, but I've just unlocked the level 63 dungeon. Shusui of the Violet Tides? Um, apparently, a bunch of the people in the palace have been possessed by Void Scent. I don't trust that at all. So it is up to us these brave adventurers to go in and kind of, you know, fix things a bit. We could turn sound effects down a little bit. And turn music up a bit, because dang, do I like the music. I should be DPSing, though. Like, as much as I want to kind of relax, it's like, oh, 2 a.m. here. I, I really should be helping out. Plus, I got stone 4 now. The animation's really good. Kind of do a little, like, arm crawls, throwing it into the ground. I really like it. It starts out like holy and then goes into something else. These, again, do, if we step on them, maybe they spawn enemies? I'm really not sure. I don't trust them at all. Like, flat out. Oh, goodness. Why did the tank take so much damage there? What just happened? Anyway, let's pop Thin Air and do a bit of AoE with Holy. Thin Air, again, great White Mage ability. Uh... They just went, well, White Mage has problems with, uh, with keeping their mana high. How do we fix that? Reduce their mana cost to zero? Okay. Yeah, that sounds alright. Uh, I popped Lucid Dreaming just in time to not die to those Violet Coral Shell. I am still wearing all my level 60 gear, so... It's possible Geyser is about to erupt. Oh, that one? I don't think we can get in that door, guys. I think that that geyser, however, seems pretty okay. Oh, yep, now it's coming up from the depths. Like I said, it's a fucked up double anglerfish. That sucks even more than a regular anglerfish! Like twice as much! Uh-oh. Uh, Red Mage has aggro. Did he pop... He used Quelling. Uh, I wonder if they also have Lucid Dreaming cross-classed. Red Mages and Black Mages can cross-class Lucid Dreaming. Which honestly, like... The mana regeneration is whatever. But that's not why you cross-class it on a DPS. You cross-class it for the immediate, like, halved enmity. Oh man, it's so good. This area is gorgeous, by the way. I'm just trying to figure out if it's supposed to be just a place that's unique. Or if maybe there's another reference here that I'm missing. Something that'll kind of come to me like, uh... Like, suddenly realizing that we were in the ship graveyard. In the first dungeon. Might as well toss down the little bubble there. I think I've already used my lilies. I wasn't paying attention. But then, what does it matter? It's 12 seconds. It seems like this hit a quarter at 36. So, um... I do think that I used it on a size. 
Uh, which is good, that's what I wanted to do, it just doesn't actually matter. Stone 4 is nice though, at just a 250 potency spell at my disposal. And Benediction being on a significantly shorter cooldown, oof, that is lovely. I will tell you that right now. Yeah, I'll just... If I have three lilies and a size, I'll pop it. There's no reason to keep it there. Just use them. It's only 12 seconds, but I'll take it. Um... Unfortunately, I have been hearing news that confession stacks are exactly as bad as the math would suggest they would be. Which, like, dang, I was really hoping that I was wrong on that. One thing that somebody suggested is, um, taking the total number of confession stacks in the AoE and adding those together and making it an AoE heal based on that, which would make it... Like, it's still, you're using Cure 1 and 2, which seems a bit weird, but it would at least incentivize it a bit more. Time. Uh, apparently Amakiri showed up in FF11. And are a yokai of some sort. Okay. If it works. <laughs> uh oh, that's not right. Oh, so you gotta break the legs so it doesn't, uh. <laughs> it falls over and you start doing more damage, Monster Hunter style. That's a nice touch. So it tries to rear up and kill a party member, and you've got to deal enough damage to the legs to stop it. And then you get Kamikiri just popping out. I uh, These look like spread AoEs, if I'm being honest with you. Okay, and they're persistent. That's fine. But I mean, FF11 was also the other MMO, so they were probably looking for names, and Yokai are a good place to pull names from. Oh, but this time we have to focus on the legs uh, before anything else. Before the boss finishes casting Shuck. Which, alright, that's. I get it. It's a lobster like Yokai. Makes sense. Uh, I may as well pop Thin Air and Lucid Dreaming, get back up to full. I don't really anticipate... ...needing any of this stuff very soon, but... ...couldn't hurt, certainly. Is there... I wonder what the Kamikiri does besides just focusing a single person on my team. Or is that it? Is that actually the extent of it? Use a size to heal everybody up in DPS a little bit. Oh, I have to cast a cure. It's been a while. And I think I'm being targeted for Shuck next. Oh no, or am I being targeted by the Kamikiri? And that's what that is. Uh... Hold up. Does that fade after a bit? I think I may have discovered a bug. Unfortunately.
I'm gonna cast Return and see if that fixes the issue. Being honest with you. Nope, that fixed it. Relogging fixed the issue. So if you see that bug, <laughs> uh. Known bug, apparently. Okay. Well, I'm sure they'll fix it soon. Come on, Caden. Time to go. I really love the new particle effect for Protect. It's really, uh, or rather for casting Protect, I should clarify. So now we gotta clear out the palace. Oh man. This is great. Whoa! Oh, that's right. All of them were possessed by demons. Quite unfortunate. I hate it when that happens. Well, let me just zoom out so I might be able to see what's going on past particle effects. Maybe. Honestly, it's fine. Really actually liking the changes to um, the basic damage spells where you don't have to switch between them. Like, stone automatically upgrades, that sort of thing. It was always a bit of a pain to switch between everything. Is it just going to be empty rooms with enemies, though? I mean, that's... it wouldn't be out of the ordinary, but it'd be kind of a bummer. I'm not going to cast Asylum, I'm going to save that cooldown for a size. There we go. Why would you ever use it on anything but? I mean, maybe Tetragrammaton. Maybe. That is... that's a pretty big maybe. Hmm, I don't have Thin Air and I don't have Lucid Dreaming coming up soon. I should probably hold off for a bit. Luckily, a size will be up 12 seconds sooner. I joke, but I'm dead inside. So these will probably be better than what I have now, right? Yeah, I-270. So if I haven't upgraded my materials all the way, or my uh, gear all the way, those are, those are a straight improvement. Here we go. Three lilies. Take it. I love this new lily mechanic of, um... First, you get three lilies, and then you spend them on a size. Never anything else. Just a size. Oh, the archers just ran away. Alright, well, bye. Wow, yeah, taking a lot of damage. And if only somebody in our party could actually use these. Oh well. I'm already casting a lot of cures here, but once gear starts to kind of outpace the dungeons, it'll be much more about DPS. Honestly, I could be DPSing more. I haven't even popped Benediction yet. There we 
There we go. Ah, who needs it? Wait, the Ruby Princess is only the second boss? I guess the Void Scent would have to be the third, and what are these treasure chests? Okay, well, let's just go. We'll figure it out on the fly. That's a very good look for an enemy, though. Quite cool. I think it's uh, the Goddess's model, right? Just without the head underneath. I'm glad they're using those for other things. I mean, they were really good models. Uh, I've been croned? Oh, so if you get crone, do you not get seduced? I see that being old prevents you from being seduced by the young. <laughs> oh, goodness. Okay. Sure. That, that's a thing. Goodness. Oh, they're persistent AoEs. They need to keep running. Oh no, I've been olded. That's not right. That wasn't the right move. Alright. Well, at least uh, they're only gonna do less damage. They're not actually gonna be uh, hit with that HP debuff anymore. That's nice. Okay, time for seduction. Don't mind me, I'm just gonna become old. Caden's dead, though. Oh no, Caden! Caden, no! Okay, never mind, they're not dead. That's perfectly alright. <laughs> now you become old! I guess people were asking for the old customization option. Here you go, folks! You got it, just not in the way you were expecting. Did that black mage just give me mana? My dude. I mean, don't worry about it, I'm using thin air. But, wow. It's good to see people actually using those new roll actions. What a good time. Oh no, Caden. I just cast a regen on myself, it's fine. Maybe if I'm at the edge of the arena, it will- OH SHIT! Hell yeah, that was planned. <laughs> the old sl slight seduction into the crone box. Classic. Which box does not already have? Tornado Genesis. That's a move name. Alright, seduce. Ha, ah, joke's on you. I'm old! Dodge seduce. God. What a fucking debuff. What's the debuff? You've become old! <laughs> and immune to seduction! Alright, I'm sure she's fine. Oh shit, are these better than what I have? Ah, they are. Oh no, is this better than what I have too? Uh, equal to, but I'll, I'll just greed on it. Oh shit, my inventory's already getting really full. Fuck. <laughs> they don't look too bad. Oh, 
Oh shit, that's right, I need the new dark matter. Did I already get a bunch of that? Or how did I... Did I just buy it? Did I think ahead? Oh, I did! I bought 99 grade 7 dark matter. Thanks, me of the past, for thinking ahead. Why is there a little blowfish just hanging around? He's having a dang time. So... Uh, vile yokai, vile bombfish. Oh, okay, so that's the thing. If you get near it, it casts a move and then passes out or dies, one of the two, I don't know. Don't mind me. Uh, it seems a bit unreliable at the least, whether or not it decides to actually... Yeah, let me just throw down every regen on the tank that I own. Keep trying to use cleric stance. I don't have that anymore. That's not a thing. I can stop. But I can't. I can never stop. much further. Looks like eh, two or three more pulls. It's not bad. And a treasure chest, naturally. I'm gonna let the tank go first, just in case well, there's, there's one of those ambush parties of mobs. Except for when it comes to treasure, then I will be immediately running for it. Tank. Tank, please pull. Tank, please. I beg you. Think of the poor black mages in Aukian. But I, admittedly, they could be upkeeping permanently, if I'm being real with you. Alright, well, you have fun with those guys. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna toss all that out there, don't mind me. I am not getting those earrings, though. Two casters in our party? Hell no. save a bit of mana. We're getting pretty close to the end here. Oh yeah, I think it's the next pull, actually. Yeah, the next thing is the boss. Okay. I wonder what the fight's going to be. I mean, I like the dungeon so far. It's nice and pretty. Gorgeous. Just kind of simple, honestly. Alright, let's find out. And then this thing gets kicked to the curb, and it's Gilgamesh! Surprise! That's not Gilgamesh. Oh! Huh. He uses the Kukulen, uh, model. I mean, it's a good fit for a gross demon. Shisui Yohi. Wait, did I just get the casting? How fucking... Google search. Did you mean Shisui Yaoi? N no. 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 No, I didn't. No. That's not even remotely correct. Your sanctuary. Oh my god, I've received aggro. That's not great. Uh, boss music, that's right. Sounds appropriately epic. Thick fog. Is it literally gonna be the same mechanic? The 
seas have begun to churn. Uh oh. So we killed all of the churn, now she comes back out. Alright. I mean, that's fairly simple, it's just a bit of a DPS check. What is that move? Is that Embolden? It's gotta be Embolden. I wasn't familiar with the animation for it, but it works. Uh, and that is a Hysteria debuff. Oh, shit. Oh, and we all get charged. Just a bunch of Void Arc mechanics in this one. Uh, I don't think that reached it. Uh, this thing's got plenty of cast time left, don't even bother marking it. My teammates will save me. Another thick fog, okay. Yeah, mana shift! They keep mana shifting me, I love this! You're half a fourth of my mana. I... you're actually too kind? Ooh. Uh, that dropsy actually significantly hurts, though. I should be careful. Don't worry, I got you. I will get you far away from that boss. <laughs> I don't actually know if they needed me to do that, but fuck it. I want to use rescue. So is that it for mechanics? That's kind of a bummer. This one's, uh, it seems like even simpler um, than the level 61 boss. And that one was fun, but simple. This one's just do you know basic mechanics. And that's fine. It's a leveling dungeon. Can I knock you back? Nope. Oh, and now she does it with Thick Fog. Okay, notable. Just lay down a couple regens. I could be using cures for lilies, but nobody cares about lilies. Uh. You wanna pop out of the water? There you go. I'm assuming that, oh yeah, they stood right on top of it and they got a vulnerability up stack. So I'm assuming the more churn there is, either the more area she covers or the more damage it does, something like that. If they don't LB, I will. Okay. Very dead. Uh, hey kiddo, why are you here? <laughs> I realize that you're very grateful to me for saving this place, but like, oh, an astrometer. And a good looking one too. I'm green on it, but... And what's this, Weaver? Oh, definitely don't need it then. Oh my god! They put a fucking crone chest here. Just so you can mess around with it. <laughs> they recognize, like, yeah, the crone chest is a good idea. What if you just had one? What has happened here? I strongly agree. What a good idea. I've got two mail now, goodness.
All right, that's it for that particular quest. I'll see you all when more happens. Oh wait, I can't teleport over there, fuck. All right.